Hello and welcome. The next case in basics of normal distribution is in an examination the total number of students 500, mean of marks 52, standard deviation of marks 8, find the percentage or number of students getting marks between 48 and 56. So to get the percent and number of students out of total students getting marks more than rather between 48 and 56 first we have to find out the probability of marks between 48 and 56 that is x between 48 and 56 i believe this is both inclusive problem because there is no specific information in the question in any of the paper sources or the students who have sent me this problem so we are getting uh, going to calculate probability including 48 and 56 there is no change in statistical process this is just for the explanation okay now so first of all 48 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 56 as we know z is x minus mu upon standard deviation let us take first lower limit of x 48 so the first z will be 48 minus 52 upon 8 that will be minus 4 upon 8. So, z respective value of z is minus 0.5, rather relevant value. Okay, now uh, x2, the upper limit 56. So, the z relevant to that will be 56 minus 52 upon 8, that is positive 4 upon 8. So, the z is positive here. z minus 0.5, z 0.5. We are interested in the area between these two limits. Okay, let us draw the sketch. X is exactly equal to mean that is 52 here. So Z is 0. Now, first value of X is less than mean. So it falls in the left hand side region x is 48 here so z is minus 0.5 the other value or upper limit is x equals to 56 x equals to 56 is greater than mean so it falls in the right hand side region and z is 0.5 between 48 and 56 so we are interested in this area If x falls within these two limits, it can be between 48 and 56. Now, both these areas can be directly found from the readily available tables. Area between z0 and z minus 0.5, but area has no say relationship with minus or positive sign. And area between z0 and z plus 0.5. So, the areas will be same. The area from the table, if we find is 0 0.1915 and the same area is on right hand side. So we are interested in this much area. We have to sum these two up and that will be the probability of 48 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 56 0.1915 plus 0.1915. 0.1915 from left hand side region, 0.1915 from right hand side region. So ultimately it comes to 0.3830. This is the probability. Now the first thing we are interested is percent of students. Getting marks between 48 and 56 will be probability of 48 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 56 into 100. That is 0 0.3830 into 100. So the percentage comes to 38.3. That means out of total students 100%, 38.3% obtain marks between 48 and 56. Now if we want to calculate number of students getting mark in this region or between these two limits number of students 
getting marks between 48 and 56 then we have to multiply the relevant probability by total number of students p of 48 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 56 multiplied by total number of students 500 so 0 0.3830 into 500 that is 191.5 so approximately 191 or 192 you can take in your own way so 191 or 192 students out of 500 scored between 48 and 56 so if we want to find percentage we have to multiply the relevant probability by 100 if we want to find number of students or number of units, whatever the base of the data is, we have to multiply the relevant probability by the total number, that is capital N or sigma F, if we take the reference of frequency distribution. That's it. Thank you very much.